Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen from VanVeenBulbs.com. And next we're going to talk all about red hot pokers or Nipophia or Nifofia, however you want to pronounce it. But either way, they're a really pretty plant. Now red hot pokers are originally from South Africa, so they can handle quite a bit of cold temperature. People tell me that they can grow them in Minnesota even, and all they do is mulch them a little bit, so they can handle a lot of cold weather. And a story I like to remember is they were found in South Africa in the 1600s, 1500s even. They brought them to England and they only grew them in the greenhouses because they assumed everything had to grow in greenhouses that was from South Africa. And then into the 1700s, a farmer actually accidentally left some outside and they survived the winter. So they realized then that a lot of South African plants can grow in England in colder climates. So it took them 200 years to figure it out. So I'm always amazed that they're such a tough plant. Now red hot pokers get these big candy corn type flowers on them. They're red and yellow and hummingbirds love them. They're probably my number one hummingbird plant next to Crocosmia. And they're just a root. So when I'm growing them, you don't really need to do a whole lot. You don't need to transplant them very often. They love to be crowded. And as I said, they're just a root stalk. So you can even separate them out very easily. So they'll multiply quickly. So over the years, you can separate them out in five, 10 years from now, and you'll get lots and lots of starts. So as long as you've got some root and some stem, you can start a new plant. And saying that, I've even found little pieces of root and planted them, and they've made it. So just make sure that the roots are covered up, but the greens exposed. And they're pretty tough. These we just transplanted not too long ago. So I think it might take them a couple years to really look good and get growing. But I just love them and they're easy to divide. I used to think that they were just a grandma's flower because I saw them in a lot of older ladies' yards. But now I've realized that the hummingbirds love them and I love them and that they're one of the joys of my garden.